Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of the Woolen Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty and I'm Tracy. This is our place on the internet where we talk about all the woolly things. So we're a little bit, it's a little bit different today because we just recorded the Southern Wool Show, Southern Wool Show video before this one. And, and it that, was a, it was over an hour. Yeah, it was quite a long one, but we thought we'd put it up separate. Yeah. In but case. obviously you're, this one's going to go up after, so. Yeah. If, so if you wanted to see the haul and you haven't seen it, you'll find it. Yeah. On our channel. Yeah. And if you just want to see what we've been up to with our making, then this is the. Then this is the. It's a little bit late as well. We've put in stuff up. We were going to put it sooner. We're going to yeah. do the, the Southern Wall Show one last week yeah but no in my house my husband got covid and then the following day my son tested positive for covid and then my daughter tested positive for covid i didn't test positive for covid you've been all right yeah but the, i'm like well what have you where have you all been yeah i've been to these wall shows and then they're all like ha huh? you have brought it yeah you. <laughs> you're the carrier yeah i'm like no no because you've no. had it before haven't you yeah so have they they've all had it uh my son's had it through this is his third time is it really? um nathan's his second time and shannon's her second time yeah. but i didn't get it touch yeah. wood yeah but okay i, I yeah. don't get it at all no i still haven't had it saying that though they weren't it was, I mean, Nathan was very, he was worse this time than he was the last time. Zach, you wouldn't have even known. He was okay. He just had a stuffy nose. Oh, and I said, the only reason I tested him was because I thought, well, Nathan's just tested positive. And I better, better test him. Yeah. And yeah, he's come out. And I was really shocked. I was like, what? So yeah, so we couldn't. Couldn't record we then. Couldn't so gonna, there was going to be space in between. But instead, we've got two that we were recording at the same time. Yeah, and it's later in the afternoon because Kirsty did come round earlier in the day and we were like, yeah, we'll get it all done. Dogs were behaving. Yeah, they were being good. Workmen outside. Roofers, yeah. <sighs> so they were cutting tiles and banging. Yeah. and we did try and there was no way. The noise was too much. So we hope, yeah, hope so it will be really okay. So it's really late. The lighting isn't... It's a bit different. We've never had this lighting. So what is it now? It's um, five o'clock? No, six o'clock. Oh, is that you haven't changed that clock? No. <laughs> no. since we're gonna the summer okay. no. oh it's six o'clock yeah so yeah it'll be right soon <laughs> so it might even be getting dark by the time we finish yeah so some things i needed to say first before we uh, move on we've had loads of new subscribers it's so and i think that's from a few people that have mentioned us yeah on their podcast so so nice yeah that was Yana from fi Yana Finnish from Knitting Finnish Story. Things. So a few people have commented saying that Yana sent them over. Yeah. And Ali yeah. from Little Drops of Wonderful. And Ruth. And Ruth from Ruth, Ruth Loves to Knit. And Mal uh, Man Mandy from Mouse's Mates. Yeah. And so um, Fatima from uh, Fibre Nuts. Fibre Nuts, yeah. As well. So it was, yeah, lots of people. So yeah. thank you. And if you decided to come and check us out and subscribe thank, thank you. you so much yeah that's yeah. lovely it's so nice so the other thing is we have a knit along going on which is the waw hands and feet I'll put it cow yeah and that comes to an end on the 30th of september so it's just about oh, what's that just over a week left yeah to get your entries in on Instagram, or if you're not on Instagram, to email us. Yeah. Whips are welcome, so it doesn't have to be an FO. Yeah. If you've finished, just finished one sock or one glove, Half pop that in. Yeah. Just pop it in because you're all yeah you eligible know. for yeah. prizes. And we, what we'll do is we'll I think we'll record a separate episode for that at the start of October, and we will call it to avoid the word that the um what are they what are they called. Ha no, they're not. Oh, the people try, and if you say that particular word, they try and contact people in the comments yeah. and say you've won a prize. So we will call it finale. Yeah, it will be the one of which is hands and feet cow finale, finale. and so we'll announce the um, prize winners. Yes, there. I think that's. I think that's it. Of the things I needed to say, yeah, yeah. and we and we thanked our Yana. We've yeah. sent her a message, haven't we, and thanked her for saying such lovely things when we watched her episode when she mentioned us. 
I was like, I got too. I yeah, got I, teary. Yeah, I was, was just like, what? That's very, amazing. very sweet. Yeah. So, should we start with what we're wearing? Yes. Okay. Do you want me to start first? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is, I've shown you this before. This is the Whitmore Cardigan by Amy Loudon. Um, I knit this in Bird Street Yarn in the DK and the colourway shale it's beautiful but yeah it's a lot bigger than my sweater and I didn't realize until I was looking through my um pattern what, what I write things down in I mean you keep notes yeah what you do. only sometimes yeah but with this I did and I was just checking through it the other day and I realized that my sweater Whitmore sweater was a small and this is a medium but I'm all right with it I like the oversized uh, yeah you know it, I love the outfit I love that the lace goes all the way around the back. Yeah, it's a nice fit, isn't it? Maybe yeah. a bit big under here, no, but I'm all right. I, I, I feel comfortable. It's not too tight around the arms or anything like Looks that. Looks lovely. Nice Thank buttons you. as well. Yeah, I can't remember where I got these buttons from. And actually getting to wear knitwear now. Yes, Autumn's finally. Arriving. We had a massive storm last night. Yeah, it was Ooh. massive so oh it was um you know thunder and lightning every 30 seconds and it must have gone on lightning every 30 seconds for what half half an hour i didn't think it was going to stop and torrential rain yeah is to is that what you call torrential rain or is that got yeah. a different meaning no that is yeah torrential rain torrential. yeah and it, i just opened the blinds and just enjoyed the yeah i went in the living room my cat was just sat on his cat tree and we have i've got like a insect net across the top windows that open he was literally just sat there watching watching with the wind would have been coming and everything and he was just there not oh, not freaked no. out at all no the dogs weren't either we were in bed and i have a camera on so i can see what they're doing normally fight what fighting each other waking each other up yeah but no <laughs> they were sound -o. i said to me they're gonna wake up in a minute surely no nope. absolutely through it. it yeah but yeah, so it feels like autumn is here now. Time for Yay, wearing the knitwear, yeah, wear all the knitwear. and not overheating. No. So what am I wearing? This is the I've shown this before. This is the Tetaguchi by Virginia Sattler Raymer, and it's in. It was from the Malaroki Heads by Kate Davies book. Yeah. So she put it together. There's different designers in it, but I think you've linked the yeah. Ravelry. Yeah. Um, and it's Jameson Smith. So nice. So I don't know if you can see the top. Oh wow. But yeah, so I'm gonna have fun making. I need to some... get some Jameson Smith because for colour work, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It really I, does. Yeah, I really love it. Although it, I can get a bit sensitive on my forehead here with Jameson and Smith. Right. I've been wearing it all day, and I've only scratched my head a few times. Yeah. But it is a bit more there. And then this is the um, June top. So it's actually a summer top. It's supposed to be um, knit in cotton. Yeah. DK. This is in West Yorkshire Spinners. DK Fleece. 100% Jacobs. And Lovely. yeah, so I just wear it over the top. I mean, it's not great because it fits up too high here. It looks good though. But it's nice that you can just put it over the top of yeah. the long sleeved. I don't think I'd be able to wear I this next to some, Yeah. Oh, vests. Make some vests and do that. Yeah, definitely. That's such a good idea. Well, I was saying before, with um, if you out of wool, sort of summer tees, yeah, you could wear those, make them a little bit bigger, and wear those Put over a long yeah. sleeve as well. Um, such a good idea, especially indoors because you've got the heating on in the yeah. winter. But then you can also put a cardigan over the top. Yes. So yeah, such looking forward idea. to making some of those. Love that. So we're going to do it a di bit different today as well, with um, not keeping FOs and whips separate. We're just yeah. Yeah. We'll just say what we've been doing. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Oh, I haven't got my show notes. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. Just there. You didn't have to go too far. No. So, I finished Hudson's uh, Raglan, Good Old Raglan by Twisted Knitwear. And this is uh, knit out of Drops Charisma. In the colourway 17 and 19. So cute. So cute, isn't it? I've done this in this six to nine months. And I don't, it might actually fit him. It might, he's 
grown so big. And was he born? May. May, yeah. He's six months. No, he's not six months. He'll be six months Christmas time. Christmas time. Well, November. No, he's four months. Six months. I'm well, his life away. No November. So it's not long. No. Basically, in time to need a swell. Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. But yeah. So I'm well chuffed that I've finished that. I'm rubbish at um, the juggler stripe. Are you any good at doing the... What do I do? I knit... I knit one round. Yeah. Without doing anything. So just yeah, change her, knit one round, and then I pick up the stitch from yeah, the row so below, put it over and knit two together. So do I. And it mine's just not... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, it doesn't look too bad now it's blocked. It when I uh just rounded it. It's still wet. Yeah, it's that's not too fine. bad. It's a little I think bit. It's yeah, difficult to make it just completely. Yeah. And it's down the side anyway, yeah. so no one's gonna see that. Yeah, keep him nice and snugly and warm. It's got little decreases down there. I'm pretty sure this was a free pattern as well. Don't quote me on that though. I'll put it I will put it in the show notes if it is. But yeah, do you see what I mean on the Let's see. It's not too yeah, bad. It's, it's maybe as well. I'm pulling it a little bit tighter. Too, yeah. Oh. It's decreases. It's the as decreases. Well. That's yeah. why. You're doing the, the colour change and the decrease. Yeah. But yeah, I love that. Let's He's going to look see. so cute in that. You have to get pictures as well. Yeah. Oh, I said that. I texted Callum last night. I sent him a picture and I said, um, I don't mind if you don't like it, but just put it on him. Take a picture. Yeah. Send it back. Yeah. But he said, oh, I love it. So. Very cute. So nice that I can knit little things. Yes. But it's my only FO. I Is lost, it? After our last, last podcast, I lost my knitting mojo. Well, we had the we had the we heat had the wave. Sh yeah, we, and the shows. The and shows, I heat just wave. think everything, yeah, the heat wave was. Kids going back to school. Yeah. My COVID. son broke his elbow. Yep. I didn't say that either, did I? So he didn't only get COVID. Did, Did you I say, say that last on the... time? No, I said it on the. Oh yeah, you only showed no, it on only... Instagram. Yeah, a week before they went back to school, he broke his elbow. So, Doing yeah. tricks on his scooter. So a lot's been going on. Yeah, yeah. So I've just, although sitting at the hospital, you'd think that's great because you sit up A and E for hours on end. Yeah. But I couldn't concentrate because I kept thinking. I mean, he didn't care. Yeah, he, he wouldn't fine. have even known. He literally come home, he had cuts all down his face, which is what I was mainly concerned about. Yeah. He had a cut on his uh, on his elbow. Um and he come in, I got a cold compress and I was like, anything else hurt? No, no, no. Went upstairs, he was playing his computer, and he come down like, probably about an hour and a half later. He said, I still can't straighten my my arm. I said, What do you mean you can't straighten your arm? He said I can't straighten it out right. I said, let me have a look. And he held it up and I went, I went, I need to take you to A&E. He was like, what? He got all panicky. He was like, what? I was like, I think you've broken that, mate. Swollen. It just looked out of place. It didn't look right. Didn't look right. It was <laughs> totally different. So to had, yeah, loads of things going yeah, on because he had laryn laryn laryngitis a uh, couple of weeks before that. Then he broke his elbow. Then he got COVID. But his elbow is healed. He's out of a cast. Although I say it's healed. It's out of a cast. They've taken it out of a cast. They didn't even really... I think they might be trying some different things now. They're realising that you don't need to have it in a cast. I remember seeing a poster on the wall at the hospital about it. Yeah, I was shocked. I was like, does he not need... They took the cast off. Sling. they done something with his elbow. And all he said, they the, the doctor said, does it hurt? He said, no, but it does feel like it's going to pop out. He said, you'll be fine. <laughs> Put him in a... Didn't he? I said, does he not need another x-ray then? He said, no. He said, as long as he's not in any pain, we'll keep him in a sling for another two to three weeks. He's not in his sling now because he can't he just, stand it. No. Yeah. And he's he's using it. So it's fine. I was like, okay. That's good. But yeah, I was like, not even another x-ray or anything. But... Yeah. So, I suppose they wouldn't risk it, though, would they, if they thought, yeah. No, no. and he can move it, and yeah, it looks not. okay now. Yeah, he, he's not. Yeah, if he if he was in oh, pain or anything. Full on for him, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He, 
boys. What, what I said, um, tell him it, uh, that I said, um, I'm glad he gets some time out of school because obviously he was ill in the summer holidays with the pharyngitis. So yeah. He didn't get time off then. No. Then he didn't get time off with his elbow and then he got a few days off with COVID. So yeah. he got to yeah. stay home and uh, play his computer. Yeah. So, um, next, this is the shift by Andrea Murray. Like I showed you last. Oh, oh that's look amazing. at that. And that's in hand spun. Um, sport weight. Although the grey was like a uh, DK. But that quite a, amazing on there, like, didn't it? Yeah. And that's the back. Um, I'll show you the seaming. I can't remember what I did. I know I didn't follow the instructions. Oh, I think I kind of attempted a mattress stitch. Right. But yeah, it looks... Looks good. Looks okay. And... That's the only thing that puts me off. Making one is the seaming. I'm not very good at seaming. I, I think as long as you, whatever you do, if you do the same thing all the way up, mm. but you could crochet it together. Oh, you yeah. You could do a slip stitch crochet and you, on the, yeah, that's and that would. That's a good would, idea, actually, yeah. That would work, but yeah. So that's, that's beautiful. Fun, ready for, shall I put it on? Yes. Ready for autumn when it gets a bit chillier. Oh, that's so obviously with the hot weather it um i could probably make them dry with my, quickly with my uh zolver balls yeah would that go? yeah it'd work although i think i had quite a lot left over even i need though, three though wouldn't i three different i think um nancy knits it up happy did it in two. Oh. and i think she just alternated the colors oh right you have to see what she did with her. Mm. She just made one. Although she might not have finished it yet. She might no, she was working on it right. because that was one of her projects. That's so nice, Percy. Yeah, I love it. So that's fun. Those Happy with that. Amazing. That was really nice. But it said I didn't it, it you use spin cycle for it, but it said that you use pretty much all the all the yarn. And I had loads left over. And actually I had less, do you remember, than what it called yeah. for. And I had an extra little mini scheme. Just in case. And I didn't you need didn't to use need it. That. And I had loads left over. Well, not loads, so, you know. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, it wasn't little, no. tiny bits. You weren't bits. playing yarn chicken. No, not at all. So. Oh. Yeah, I love that. I'll definitely so nice. um, make another one because it was just so fun to make. Yeah, I need to make one of those. Right. Uh, what should we go next? I'll do this one. No, I'll do this one. So, I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon because everyone on Instagram that I've seen is making Laura Penrose's new blanket pattern, the Sweet Shop, Sweet Shop blanket. And I was going through all my stash yeah. because I wanted, obviously, the, new, the, the cream or the white colour to go with it. And I couldn't find anything. Because I was thinking, when I saw the blanket, I thought, that's perfect for all my leftover socks. I've got so many. Hold it double. It'll be oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. It Definitely, that's what I want to do. Anyway, I couldn't find anything. Anyway, I come across the bag of um, the baby merino that you got I was going to say, they seem familiar. That was your um, birthday. Yeah. You got me a, like a rainbow colour. And I thought... That would be perfect. All the colours in a, in a rainbow. Colours, baby and marina. I had, this is what made me think about it, it's because I had three balls of this. Yeah. And I thought, when, and then I remembered that you'd given me the bag of rainbows. So I thought, oh, well, forget the sock stash. Oh, you'll do it with these? <laughs> Leftovers. I'll do it with these. It's a, her pattern is a DK. These are swart. So what I done was I just carried on until I got gauge till the um it was the same size. So there's square. more stitches. So I've got more stitches. Um oh, so you have stuff fun. This is such why is that there? Hold on. Oh, it's just because I've got to pull it. But yeah, this is such a fun pattern. I'm absolutely loving it. Really loving so it. So you pick up you're already picking up yeah 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 you so were saying about picking oh you're, i suppose you're picking up yes. along the top not yeah. the side and they're slip stitches so it's oh, easy okay. to pick up it's easy to pick up but am i holding it the right way yeah 
that's fun. Do you know how much it took you for each? No, but because oh, I then went on to a warehouse right. and uh, so naughty because this was this blanket was supposed to be using stash. up, yeah, using up stash. Oh, all the colours, all the colours. Oh, that's me. Oh, you got plenty. So, yeah. So I can just keep adding. And I, I mean, yeah, these ones are bright. And then I've got some dull, duller colours. Yeah. But I don't care. No, it'd be it's, nice it's having It's just going to be... And I love the pattern. This is something that I can just sit in front of the TV. It's so nice, the um, yarn as well, because it's a really round yes. yarn. Soft, but not too soft that not, it's just going to yeah. get peels all over. Yeah. Feels really nice. Yeah. But I'm loving... I, at first, I was reading the pattern, I was like, oh, I don't know whether I can do this. But no, it's the way it's written. Really good pattern. Really good pattern. Laura Penrose, she does do good patterns. She write, her patterns are really well written. Because you've made her summer souffle as well. Yeah. So. so, yeah. Oh, that's fun. I mean, I'm only on the fourth square, but now I've got all this. You're not going to worry about running out, yeah? No, no. Lots to play with. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I was going to do a DK. And then obviously with this, I was thinking, do I hold that double and then make it a little bit thicker? Because this is a sport. Yeah. And I thought, no, actually, just keep increasing until you, till your squares are the same. Because I wanted, I didn't want my squares to be small. So they're the same size. So they're the same size. That's... So it's spot on as well. Brilliant. So, yeah. That's fun and it's something that will take, you know, take a while to work yeah. on, but just if it's easy, so it's yeah. TV knitting. TV knitting, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so I'm happy. But, yeah, it was a purchase that I shouldn't have done because I only bought that pattern. Was this after the wool shows? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. I couldn't use any of the wool show yarn. No. No, that's lovely yarn, and it is. Um, did they have a? Actually, I, no. I'll tell you what it was. I didn't need to order any of that yarn yet. You want because to I've already got a load that I could have got half the. You just want to space it out so you don't have all the brighter colours. They had a sale. The merino yeah. was on sale. It was you one have pound, to. I think. Yeah, you can't not when there's yeah. a sale on. That's no. when you buy it. Yeah. That's definitely when you. you that's buy my it. excuse anyway. <laughs> that's my excuse no it's good i i did that with the fable when they had a sale on i bought all the um self sort of striping yeah so i could make scrappy socks yeah so got it so this i showed before and it was an experiment so it was tunisian crochet that i was playing around with and it was with Midwinter Yarns Lithuanian Linen. And I was going to make it a long scarf. And actually, I found it quite hard on the wrist because you kind of, you almost cast the stitches on and then you cast them off. Right. And I thought, do you know what? I'm probably, it's going to sit there yeah. as a whip for ages and ages and ages. So I just, it doesn't look very neat actually. Because of the way it's done, it has these sort of holes in, but yeah. I did, yeah, a slip stitch sort of crochet. Joined it in the round. And also, you can see how wobbly it is. I couldn't get a very even tension. To be honest, this is like a... What is it? I think it's like a lace, a thick lace weight. And I did it on four millimetres, so maybe that's why. Yeah. You know, it's very drapey. It's lovely. Um, but I'll show it. Oh, and I just thought, you know, if it's hot and you want to wear something you've made, yeah. but you can't, you know, wear it's linen, it yeah. would be cool. I just thought it's a... It's really nice. Not... They're so good, though. It's some... It's... I turned it into something rather than it... Yeah, never getting finished. It. Yeah, or, that's right. Or, I've caught myself now. Or ripping it out. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm not happy with... I think I did a slip stitch. Did you do a slip stitch or a single crochet? Slip stitch edge down the side. But, yeah, you can see it's all wibbly-wobbly, depending on what I did here. There. No one's going to see that no. if you're wearing it, unless they're too close. Yeah. So it's fine. It's fine. It's it's something fun. I enjoyed doing it, and I've now actually 
got, got something. something out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And it's done. And I will. I've got loads of yarn left, so I'll use that in something. But yeah, look, it even looks. What sort was of that? Diagonal. The what did you use? Linen? It was midwinter yarns, and it was just um, Lithuanian linen, so it's hundred percent linen. That's nice. Yeah, and you think when it like if it's really hot, if it's hot, and you could yeah wear that and not you know keep the sun off your neck yeah. And, and there was if, no pattern, you were just making up? Oh, I was just, yeah, I was just experimenting with um, that. That's I kind of good. did, like, intarsia. Um, but, yeah, and then changing the colour at the end of the rows and stripes. You're just too good. Too good. It was, it was like I said, it was fun, but... Uh, I, I like that. Not, but... not... It doesn't feel a stable fabric, I think. So putting that edge on made it a bit more, I think it's that, it stretches on the bias. Right. So, yeah. you know, it can go out of shape quite easy. Yeah. But yeah. But it's a cow for round your neck. Yeah, and it's done. So it's not another whip sitting there because they seem to be piling up quite a bit. And no. I'm struggling to work my way yeah. through them. Me too. Me too. And these, I think, most of these are all new cast ons. Uh, what should I do now? Oh, I'll do the Alpine theme. So. Oh, I'm excited about doing this. It's not. So, um, yeah, I've cast on an Alpine balloon by Caitlin Hunter. It's not an in your face. You know, like you can see the. Yeah. I've, the contrast is not. I don't know. I oh, it's toned shirt. down. It's toned, it's toned down. down. Yeah. yeah. It, but I love it. So, oh, it yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, you do. If you are concerned with color work, you can take the picture and then turn it to black and white. And as and long as there's see. contrast between the two colors. Yeah. But you may want some people. You, you want can, it to tone down. Yeah, you don't want it. Well, it can be. It can look like black and white on yeah. on the photo. But if it's as long as one's brighter than the other, if that's what you're going for. But yeah, it shows yeah. fine. Oh, I love the colour as well. Yeah. So I chose to do the like the lace colour. I've seen quite a few people that have just not bothered and done the rib. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do the lace on the arms. arms because you have to attach them. Yeah. After, but I might give it a go. Yeah. I might give it a go and just see. But yeah. So this I'm knitting out of mine because I haven't got needle oh, stoppers. Careful. Out of a oh it's blowing now. Oh yeah, it? that's fun. A uh, woolly knit cone. This is merino wool cone. Is this the merino one? Yeah, merino ah, wool. Ah yeah. And it is. Oh, it really shows Canina up there. You're right. It yes. really shows up when on there. Looking... It's less yeah. here. Yeah. I think it's where it's scrunched up as well, yes. you know. Yeah, and I'm not sure was my tension. I mean, once it's... I'm not very good with... That's fine. It's puckering a bit, isn't it? Or no, is that going to no, be okay? No, it's where, it's where it's scrunched on the... Yeah, it's fine. And it's why I've not... Because I keep putting it down. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Do I rip it out? Oh, yeah. those That bit in the middle, I'll show you on here as yeah. well. That bit in the middle where this one stitch looks tighter than the others. I find it tends to do that if you've just right. got the one stitch. Okay. So once it's blocked and everything, yeah. it should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay then. Yeah, so I'm knitting it out of my wool cone. This is Woolly Knit. Floats. I, I bought this about a year ago. And I thought, right, I'm going to wind... Actually, I was knitting off it at first. And about, I think... I was just going around the collar and it it had come away and I thought oh that's a bit strange am I pulling it too tight or is it have I ripped it apart well I tugged it you can't yeah so it wasn't that so then I thought right I'm gonna it done it again I've carried on knitting and it come to an end I was like what I've never had, I've never knit off one of these before so I was thinking yeah. is that right you know or is it a first few um rounds rounds yeah. anyway so in the end i thought right just um wind some off to to make into a ball it was coming off in two grams for about 10 yeah about 20 grams where so was... two grams then five grams then there was like four or five of 12 grams 
I was like, what? I can't. So I wrote to them, but they they said because I brought it a year ago and they've never had that problem before. I don't know what it was. Why? No, but very frustrating. It was very for you. frustrating. I've never used the merino. No. I've only used the British. Yeah. Four, fifth, four, five. Yeah. Well, I I then managed to get an eighty-seven gram, but we could see at the bottom. So I'm hoping, by the looks of it, now this is all intact. I wonder if it got caught on something. Oh, well, I don't know. It was. It was as if someone had cut. Yeah, it was at one spot and it, it was, was a inside. slice, so yeah. almost like a uh, box cutter had opened a yeah. box and cut That's into exactly it. what it looked like. But, you know, it it's is lovely. what it it's, is. It's lovely and soft. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, if you've got it again, cause it's lovely yeah. yarn, that it wouldn't happen again. Yeah. So, yeah, I've just wound it off into a ball. And then... Oh, oh I'm, just, I'm just staring down for the whole oh. of that. And I'm using... Kirsty's hand spun for the colour work, okay. which I'm I'm really loving. Yeah, it's worked fine. It's worked. It's yeah, look, worked good. Yes. This, that wouldn't I'm show so up happy. that well if it wasn't. No, we look like we just sat in the dark in here. Do we? Should I try this? That might be better. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, the light's a bit strange, but yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. That was your Christmas charm, wasn't it? was my yes yeah yeah that was my christmas yarn from kirsty but it was dyed i think it was the swamp it was swamp yes by I've, yeah. coral I might have it yeah it was swamp it was yeah. definitely swamp i haven't got that's it. so fun though so yeah i'm gonna enjoy finishing that now i don't know i was gonna do a long sleeve and then i thought I, i'm like nah just I think the thing is where you've got like a cardigan like this yeah. and you've got your yeah. other cardigans. Yeah. I'm liking the idea of um t-shirts, knitted t-shirts and then cardigans over the top. Yeah. I didn't swatch for this either. Dun, dun, dun. Looks fine. It will, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But yeah, I like the lace collar. I've never done, I've always done a, just a rib collar. I wasn't sure at first when I saw this because it's quite, um because of the florals and the lace, I thought, yeah. oh, is that a bit too yeah. feminine? Yeah. For me, would yeah. I like that? And but the more I see of them, the more I'm like, no, yeah. it it's lovely, and the lace colour is just extra detail. Yeah. They look really nice. Yeah. on. yeah, that's what done it for me. I kept seeing everyone, and I was like, oh, I want one of those. Yeah, they do look lovely. Oh yeah. So, and that was um, just me going through my stash. Yeah. So I did. I'm using stash for it's it. It's good. Which is good. work your way through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Yay. I think that's all I've got to say about that one. So this was like, again, this was one of those patterns that I've seen loads of. Yeah. So you, obviously it's the pressed flowers. Um, hat. <laughs> it is that bright as well. That's yes. not the um, lighting. No. It's the neon hand spun that I showed last time. Oh. Uh, and I had, so that was, this again was DK, but I thought I didn't swatch and it's fine. And they were both DK, and they were commercially dyed merino. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, is that bright? I love that. That is so nice. But I've seen this. I'll put it on, see how it looks on. But I'd um, seen this. Um, oh, I did. Did I make it slightly shorter? Yes. Right. This, I think, said to make it longer, but I've noticed it was quite slouchy on people, and I only wanted it a you little bit. It. So just to go over my ears. And again, it's so fun. I'm loving the, um, you know, like with this as well, the mosaic yeah. colour work. Yeah. And playing with that. So, but yeah. Oh, I love those colours. I thought, well, does it go together? What am I going to put with that um, neon? Yeah. But I thought that would, um, yeah. yeah, be fun. And I've, I've, like I said last time, I haven't made a hat for ages. So I was going with kind of hat with yeah. drawers. I'm not making them. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, time it to the, make hats. Yeah. Time to make hats. So it has the four at the top, but yeah. And oh, min I love that. it's like a minty green with the neon. Nice. Really bright. Oh, I've got itch. It's a lot of yeah, I'm getting itchy now. I think we've got loads of wool floating about now yeah. after we filmed the uh hall. I can't before. believe 
we done that <laughs> so yeah two in a row yeah probably looking really tired and yeah but that's fine we're doing it yeah we're, we're doing, doing it. it so no that's really good yeah i'm really happy with that and i will probably make another one are you keeping that or gifting it or um, yeah i'm probably keeping this one yeah. i don't know um many people who would want a Neil. no not unless anyone i'm trying to think is there anyone that goes sort of walking in the you know mm. where they need the neon but because it's pressed flowers because no. like jay yeah there's jay but would jay want to have I'm sure flowers jay on? would wear a flat hat with flowers on yeah he wouldn't be bothered <laughs> would he no, he wouldn't but yeah jay's a fireman as well he could just go yeah. off and wearing that all the guys had yeah have a he would he would wear that yeah, with pride. He, yeah. he would walk around with that even he's got rainbow stripey yeah. um with you know pink stripes and everything yeah. although like i said I, I think he's actually colorblind he is colorblind so he's that he, he's you definitely see that one yeah yeah <laughs> sorry jay <laughs> right so yeah beauty gone what should i do now all right i'll do this now so, after doing the granny hexi cardigans, yes. I've been loving doing the granny stitch. Uh, I love that stitch. I'm addicted. It, it's so relaxing and where the gap where you're stitching into is so big, you're not going to do it wrong. So you no. don't have to, you know, have your eyes no. looking at Yeah. So, I saw on Instagram, this is the granny pop v-neck sweater by... Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. MJ's Off The Hook Designs. And, oh, I just love this. Yeah, I love this. Oh. It's a V-neck sweater. Oh, wow. But I thought, I'm going to pick up the... Because when I now. first started, I've already pulled this back twice. Um, because I'm using a smaller hook, because... I wanted to do it on the four again. I like yeah. the granny in the four. Yeah. Um, and I kept pulling it back because it was too small the first time I tried it on. It was like really tight. Uh, and then I thought, right, I've made it the right thing. Let's do the collar and put it on and make sure Who it's not it too high. This is by MJ Off The Hook Designs. Was it do it until it measures a certain thing or was it calculated? So did you do the bigger size? Um... I can't remember. <laughs> it wasn't do it until it measures this amount. Oh, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It, it no. Was, the whole pattern was written um, for your size. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a raglan. If you see, it hasn't got, look, yeah. it's got two. Yeah, there's It's not got the granny. It's v. got the V stitch down the. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, there's a certain tree. Um. There's a certain tree that goes this colour and, and it actually literally goes this colour. It's autumn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What is the tree called? Is it like um it's not uh oh it doesn't matter. If I think before you're editing, I'll try and find a picture yeah. of the tree and send a picture. But yeah. It's but yeah. That. I've tried this on and it don't come because uh, I was worried that it's gonna come down too low. Yeah. I mean you can, she says you can stitch like that's not stitch the V there yeah it's not stitched down but you can stitch it down but i don't need to because it lays when it's on it lays perfect that's beautiful yeah so i'm knitting this do you want to hold that yeah out of the james c brett shush yarn so amazing this in yarn in the color ch09 so beautiful oh, i think i want one of these i'll tell you what though the only problem with this is when you want to rip back because it's like the, the mo it's like mohair yeah um i wasted quite a bit trying to have you got enough to finish though still i don't know so what i'm doing now is gonna go on to the arms yeah finish the arms and then i'll go carry on down if it's too short then i'll go and get another ball yeah um, or it might be a little bit cropped it might be yeah. a little bit cropped it's yeah. got really nice drape at this gauge so as well nice, isn't it? My um, hexi granny cardigan doesn't have much drape at all. It's, it is pretty solid. This yeah. is so that, nice. It just feels... Yeah. Yeah. I thought oh, that's going to be perfect, isn't it? I love that. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same 
arms as I've done on all my other cardigans as yeah. well. Is that like a balloon sleeve? Yeah, balloon yeah. sleeve with the cuff. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, well chuffed with that. I was like, I don't know the neck. I picked up the st so I did pick up the stitches, but it's crochet. Yeah. So it's a lot easier. Love yeah. that. Thanks. That's so fun. But I do like this shush yarn. It's so soft. They've got and so many with colours. the colour change. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. And drapey. This feels really nice. It feels really nice. Yeah. And you get loads of meterage, if I remember yes, rightly. Yes, you do. It's, um, so it's, it's more like a finger, uh, more like a sport, I'd say. 550 meters, 400 grams. Yeah. But because of the fluffiness. But because of the fluffiness, it makes it a DK. Oh, you could probably knit it in the sport as well. I'm thinking of An Andrea Maori's stripes. That's what I want to do. Which is a, a circular yes. and it's in sport. Yes. I think a few of hers are in sport and it's hard to get in the Ooh, UK. Can you imagine... Yeah. Cho choosing another. An alternating. An alternating it. Ooh. That would be amazing. No more. I'm not allowed to buy any more. Oh, yarn. no. No more. Stop. Stop now. No. Wool diet. Wool diet. Big time. So, made some more hand spun. This I showed in the braid last time. So, this one is Shetland. It's in the full colourway, dyed by Coral Rose. Coral Rose Fibre Arts. Now, it, it, it did have, brighter, it did it have some neon in it. Yeah, you can see the, it's just maybe show, it's shining that. up more. Yeah, yeah maybe more it's that. that. Let me see if I turn that light a bit that way. We need a bit of light, but is that better? Yeah. Yes, that's more. Oh, so that's lovely. You can see that's, yeah, that's yeah. the neon. Yeah. It had little bits of neon green in it, but that's mm. a DK. 256 metres, 103 grams. So I'm getting the DK now. Yeah. Which is weird because I have to spin it thinner than I would think. But I've set the, on the Ashford E spinner, there's a speed dial. And I put that on, there's the second E, so it's S-P-E-E-D. Mm -hmm. On the second D, but just touching the corner of the second D. And I found that having it there is the perfect speed to have it on and then i apply it on the first pointing at the first e right i thought at some point it'd be better if i made a disc sticker to go round it with numbers on because then it would be yeah simpler because you've only got the so you have yeah. to use the letters but it's working oh, I'm well, getting at least DK. yeah that's it and i'm just going to spin dk for a while yeah. so i've got lots to pair together so that's the first one love that and then this one there we go oh that's, that looks like the, Zol the Zolba ball that we yeah. got. It's got that, although the Zolba ball didn't have navy in it. So that's like a navy and purple and sort oh, of... Oh, I love that. ...plummy colours. And that's a DK. You can have that. No, I can't. Yeah, of course you can. No. Yeah, go on. Can I? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, you can have that one. <gasps> you like You like this sort of purple and wear more of it. The, the purples I've bought are more on the... Are you sure? Yeah, the purples I've bought are more on the red side than the blue side. That's like a blue purple. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> yes. I've got like a glass cap. I've got so much hand spun and I've got so much. Uh, I've got a massive sack of early hand spun that I'm really going to have to start weaving with because some of it I spun the wrong direction. Oh, What's thank this? you so much. That's all right. S, S twist. So this is some um, 50 grams of natural um, Muret Shetland. <laughs> um, <laughs> 50 grams. Again, this is, I've, gone, I've gone red now, I know it. <laughs> this is DK, 112 metres. What's on that? 230. Yeah. Yeah, so what, what did I get here? 256, so they're close enough. But yeah, Corriedale. But yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and that was actually... It came out those colours as well because it was a brown Corriedale right. that I over dyed. That's stunning. Oh, that was what I was saying. S twist. There was loads of early hand spun that I spun the wrong way. And I don't know if it really matters if you knit with it, but if you paired two yarns together and one spun one direction, or sorry, plied, mm. and the other one isn't. But yeah. But look at those. Those might work for colour work, these two. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. 
that. Okay. Well, I'm enjoying just um, just um, spinning. I'm really That's enjoying good. spinning at the moment and it having that separate thing where I don't have to focus. Yeah. I do, but it's different. I, I have conversations. I'm actually not really the type of person who can sit and chat with people in knit. If I bring knitting with me, I end up doing a couple of rows and I stop. Yeah. And I think it's because of eye contact with people yeah. when they're talking. If I don't give eye contact, I feel like I'm... You're being rude. <laughs> not paying attention. Yeah. yeah. I can't have a conversation. Yeah. Really. I, especially not if it's anything complicated. Yeah. Or colour work, if I'm counting. No. no. So, yeah, that's... That's fun. Yay, thank you. That's all right. I'm all excited about that now. Right, I think... Have I only got... Yeah, I've only got one more thing. Have you got a lot more, or do you want to Oh, what, go you only again? got... I'll go again, got then. Yeah. What, in total? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, I better... I better say some other stuff as well. I had no knitting mojo. I've got, I think, three more things. Oh. So, this is the long-winded one, sorry. Right, I've got to prepare for this, because it... So I, I had this idea that I was going to experiment, so like I did with the Tunisian um, cow, Tunisian crochet cow, I thought I'll experiment with sort of a basic shawl. Yeah. So, knit a little sample. So it starts, where does it start? Here. It starts here. I had this bit which goes straight, then I increased on both sides for this stripy section. Then I played around here and put some mosaic um, colour work. Yeah. This part's straight and then I did this section. I was just checking the um, maths to see if it would work and then it's just a little triangle on one side. So it's still straight through here, down the other side. I like that and I thought, and I, I've got a, I'll show you what I did. I've got this. This is like a bullet journal, really, and I drew out, so I, I'll show you what I did. It's loads of random writing. I don't know if you can even see. Yeah. yeah so this is like the middle section. I even I changed that a little bit, though. Um, and then that's the sort of shape there. And I weighed yarn, and I thought, right, I'll go for it. So I picked three colours of... What did I use? Drops Flora. I know it's Drops Flora. I'm just waiting to see where it is. Yeah, Drops Flora in blue, tan and beige. And then I just eyeballed it. So I weighed it to make sure I'd have enough for the other side. And I just yeah. started, knit it and sort of thought, yeah, that looks like it would be about right. And mm -hmm. come up with this. So I've got these little bits. So hair attached to it, hair everywhere. So it's got these little bits at the end. And then it goes on both sides, striping. And then we've got a straight section in the sort of beige. And then the tan that goes to a point. The beige. Back down to these little bits. Do you want to hold it up? So? Yeah, it's quite long. It's lovely. So, yeah, there's the point there. I haven't blocked it. It's got the point there. Yeah. And then these bits, like I said, increase on both sides. It's amazing. Well, I was I was really feeling quite impressed with myself. I was like, wow. Yeah. I love it. And I, and I wasn't sure. So I knit it over three days. I just knit on it continuously. And I thought, and a lot of stuff was going on. My cat got a water infection, so I had to take him to the vet. And he was in and out of the litter tray. And, yeah. you know, you could see he was yeah. quite disturbed. So he was bouncing about. There's stuff going on with the girls' school and phone calls and things. And I kept getting interrupted. And it was quite um I didn't want to lose count of what I was yeah. doing anyway so I'll show it on you're not gonna better see properly because of my hair it's beautiful and everything I want to show it properly though yeah we're all right for time aren't we yeah yeah it'll be so it kind of goes down like that with a v you can, so you can have it like that or you can come over a little bit uh, or like... you can tie it there and then have it like that, or um, the colours are. Um, I love that colour. The colour combination. Yeah. I love. I've been seeing a lot of things for years. I've always liked it, blue and brown. Yeah. But it's really or like nice. that, <gasps> and I thought that's amazing. Yeah. I I know it's like a bit sort of blowing my own trumpet, but no. I was really yeah. 
thinking I love it because yeah, it's so you should it's simple but because of the color blocking it's interesting and the changing in yeah. shapes and actually when I was doing this bit if we insert the little picture of the monster I've shown these oh, little yeah. monsters before I'll put it in yeah here. but I reckon as soon as I got to here I was like I recognize that I've obviously done something like that before so I sent you pictures and I thought it's it it worked I can't believe it worked yeah. And I thought, I'll write up a pattern as a free pattern. And I sent, I sent you, you a message, oh, sent my so sister excited. a message. I like, yes. And I haven't written it up, the pattern. I've only drawn those sort of charts. Yeah. And then I counted the stripes and realised that I've got 60 blue stripes on this side and 63 blue stripes on this side. And then I was like, have I miscalculated on this chart? Have I done something wrong on this chart? Yeah. Or have I miscounted when I've been doing the increases? Yeah. And I couldn't work out what it was and I was really confused. And I've tried to, I was thinking I was showing it to my daughter yeah. and she was saying, and I think what the problem is, and I'll share it because somebody else might be doing something similar I don't know if you can see the chart so this is the this is the brown bit at the end and then I increased here and then this is the base section and I increased into the base section on this part but when I come down to this part I decreased out so it's increases decreases and I don't think I was meant to increase here it, well I was yeah but it was supposed to be the stripes yeah those would add the extra stripes in. So at this point, I thought I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm done. I've got a fun shawl. Um, that was. Although I want to knit the shawl, so I'm gonna have. Right I'm out. gonna have to. See, but I, I will have to knit an entire mm. other one to find out if it works. Right. And it's wonky. It will be lopsided on one side, but because it changes shape, it doesn't just. It doesn't just go to a, doesn't just go to a point and then come back down. It goes to a point and then it goes straight. Yeah. Then it goes out one side and back in. Yeah. <laughs> and this is beyond me, really. I don't know what I'm doing. I should just stick to putting a bit of colour work charts in in rectangles. I don't know what I thought I was doing. But it uses three fifty grams. I've got. I even weighed it so it used forty two grams of, of the beige. 26 grams of the blue yeah. and the tan it used 33 grams and everyone's got that everyone's got it in their stash so i scraps thought scraps even yeah so i'm gonna try again i i still think it's amazing and if i can get it to work what it will be is so this is where it starts so this part like i said goes like that sorry this might be boring people but other people might be yeah. designing things themselves and having similar problems triangle and then it goes straight on these sections, but in order for the extra stripes to be put in, I will, it, they will also go straight for a bit here, but on yeah. that end, they will start decreasing straight away. Yeah. I will make another one and I will see if it works. And if it works, then I'll see if I'm even capable of writing a pattern that anyone else would be able to follow. And if I can do that, then I will find great. some way of putting it on the internet for free. Yeah. For because I'd like to be it. I'd like to do that at least once. Put a free pattern. Yeah. Up on the. It's beautiful. It's so nice. I just thought it was. And, so... and I just love the shape. I was looking for something that was quick, simple. Yeah. But had a bit of colour work. Yeah. You know, and it's like colour blocking, isn't it? Yeah. So I thought, well, that will. And I couldn't find it because a lot of things say they need 200 grams of fingering yeah. weight or 300 or 400. I thought, I don't want a massive thing. Yeah. Anyway, and so one thing that may have helped me that I didn't use, I don't know if I'm suddenly shouting now, I feel like I'm giving a massive lecture. No. Is I have this book. And this is, what is it? Custom Shawls for the Curious and Creative Knitter by Kate Atherley and Kim McBrien Evans. Now, I didn't use this book when I came up with it but I did years ago I do understand some of the basic shaping theory so if yeah. you take 
uh, you know one of the triangle the ones we cast on a little tab if you've done a triangle yeah, yeah. yeah so what you have is you increase every right side row um on each edge so right side row on each edge one in the middle you have a center one one center um stitch yeah one next to it and one at the other side you do that every other row and you end up with a triangle and all the other shapes like um you know things like the sophie shawl increase at a certain rate on one side so it's a similar it's a side to side shawl yeah. this one and they increase at a certain rate and they go in at a certain rate anyway this book has i'm going to flash it because i think the people would rather people yeah. bought this book then have a problem with me flashing some shawl shaping yeah here is the shaping theory of a side to side if you increase on one side but if you notice let me see i'm looking at the right part here these would be increases so just say you did those every four every four rows that would give you a quite a dramatic triangle yeah. a deeper shorter triangle the longer you the longer you leave in between increases shouldn't be i shouldn't even be saying this i'm confusing myself anyway if you look right here you increase and then you have these extra rows and you decrease straight away this is where the mistake happened on that shawl yeah. but this is a great book it has all the shawl shapes i'm just going to flash you another one quick you know all the different shawl shapes and the i keep calling it like shaping theory i don't know if that's even what it's called but it gives you the maths of how to do that and then it also says, but what if you want to do something a bit different? So it talks about short rows or coming up with more unusual shapes or anything else. So if anybody else wanted to have a play, yeah, that's good. And I did go on the Craftsy class and I did do a shawl. I used to have it. It was cheap years ago when it actually turned to blue. Before it turned to blueprint and then back to Craftsy, yeah. it was it was really cheap too. I think it's a bit dodgy now. If you subscribe to unsubscribe, it's a bit difficult. Yeah. But I did a short shape class on there and got loads of printouts. But it literally is. That's. Oh, it's that. It's that much off. It's it's, it's an inch. An inch. Yeah, it's like an inch, inch and a half off. Oh. But. What I was scared about is I didn't know what had gone wrong. And I thought, what if I knit another shawl thinking I'd just miscounted the increases and it's still wrong? Yeah. And then I couldn't work out, well, how do I do it? Work out where I went wrong just in my head. Yeah. And I'm still not sure if I have figured out where I went wrong. But Long you, story short. You've, yeah. got, you've got a beautiful... Oh, yeah. If no, anything, no. you've got a beautiful... Yeah, if I never knit it again or try and make a pattern, I've still got a nice shawl. Yeah. Scarf. And thing. it is beautiful. Yeah, so that's one of a kind. One of a kind, yeah. One of a kind, wonky. Yeah. Um, you could call it. <laughs> oh, what, the wonky? wonky? Evelyn was just like, do it. Just release a wonky I, pattern. I People would. won't mind. I would. Like I say, I would knit yeah, now. I think it's like what you were uh, uh, saying about the spinning of wanting to be a perfectionist. So it annoys yeah. me that I can't figure out a way to of make making it, it symmetrical. symmetrical. Yeah. And I don't know if it's even possible. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. If that is something. Yeah. Or you can see where I've gone wrong and it's obvious because it's not obvious, really. To right. You. That's that. I've covered up all my notes and everything now. But yeah, I felt very frustrated at the end. I'm calmer now. I'm calmer. Yeah. I'm I was so excited. I was like, yay, Cassie's done it. Release a short pattern. It, it, yeah, it was really. Um, but anyway, so that's that. Yeah. Have you? Did you say? I've got one more. You've got one more, so I'll show you this yeah. one, shall I? And then, but oh, the, with this sample, I decided it didn't need to. I didn't need to muck around putting with stitch the, patterns. Right. It was nice enough yeah. just doing stripes. Yeah. So next thing, quick. This was something I cast on to take with me to the yarn show to knit on. Oh, this little bag. This is by So Yarn Alicious and was sent to me by a lovely viewer. So thank you. I've been loving using this one. Uh, That's beautiful. I so like nice. the little handle that goes yeah. through and it's just, you can have it hanging so off your nice. arms. 
But yeah, even though I said I don't knit in public, and I did knit a few rows and went, no, I'm not yeah. going to do this. But this is the hipster hat by Petite Knit, and it's hand spun. But it's hand spun from the John Arban Apple Door range quench. That's nice. Which I spun up. Yeah, DK. So. This lighting just, is really changing. It's really changing, yeah. It's getting, getting dark. So that folds up. But I want it quite fitted. So I think yeah. I'll do. I think I'll do 10 inches before the. Yeah, because that will give me six. That's brioche, isn't it? No, that's just. Um, oh, no, that's, that's, the that's your. Two by two. Rib. I and thought I, you were doing brioche. Yeah, I thought that as well. Oh. I'll show that in a minute, yeah. <laughs> um, I did the tubular cast on, even though it's two by two, because yeah. I thought it would give a nice edge. But that's just, that's just fun. Yeah. Easy. Um, something to, when it's something to think easy, too yeah. much. But I'm not in a hurry to finish it either, so. No. That's in there. Right. So... We ordered ah um and Andrea Rangel's new stitch dictionary innovation. Um, I don't know why, but we got it earlier. I think because we pre-ordered it off Amazon. Yeah, and it come. Yeah, we got it on the pre-order, and it wasn't long. I think it took three or four days. Yeah. So I don't know if that was meant to happen or no. not, but no. But yeah, so this is amazing. We've got we've shown her other book. Before. Her other book is the alternate, alternate stitch, stitch dictionary. dictionary. Yeah. But this has got. I, don't, I think I didn't even say dictionary then. I think I just said <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs and snowmen, crabs. And actually, if you get it on the pre-order, and I think you still can get it on the pre-order, you get three free charts that yeah. aren't in the book yeah if you open it you might be able to show some of them that aren't haven't got the charts on the page there might be a yeah yeah there's some more there yeah yeah there's a lot more florals um botanicals yeah then there is more there's more geometric in the alternate one yeah and this one's more uh, oh, look at the candy cane it just makes you i just want to sit and knit all the swatches yeah, well, that's why Just, I, that you don't think them scarves. Yeah. So three millimeter needles, yeah. circular. Oh, sorry, three millimeter. <laughs> I'm tired now. Yeah. Four ply. Yeah. Cast on a hundred and twenty stitches in a tube. Yeah. I'm um, doing provisional cast on, so you can graft it at the end. Hundred and twenty stitches. And, put, and just do it. Just do every just single. Just go through what well, oh, only well, the ones well, the that ones fit that will in, fit in the, the hundred and twenty. Yeah. yeah. But 120, you can fit loads of yeah pattern repeats. Yeah. So what, when I got that, my Shannon again, Shannon, <laughs> she loves everything cherries yeah. at the moment. She's got tattoo as well, hasn't she? Yeah, she's got ta yeah, she's just had a tattoo done, and there's a cherry pattern in there. But when I saw it, the stitch pattern is a 15 stitch repeat, and I needed to do a 64. Stitch yeah. sock. So going to 60. Yeah. So I just changed I just changed the pattern a tiny bit, just added a extra row to make it a 16. Well, I just moved one of the stitches across yeah. to the other end and it made a 16. I love that. You were saying that you'd done that. Yeah, I, thought, I, was yes. watching, I was like, how have I done? I've literally done that myself. Didn't ask anyone. Just sat there and thought there must be a way of yeah. making these cherries into a 64 sock. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> so I've started the. Ah, oh. they look they look all right, don't they? They look. I love the fact that you've done the stripe. Yeah. At the top. Yeah. There's something about those. They oh, they feel nostalgic. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And then I'm just going onto the hill now, so they're gonna be. They're not gonna be a long sock. They're just yeah. gonna be like a ankle ankle sock. Yeah. Oh. But. It's look, they look all That's right, don't so they? That's so fun. I love the highlight on the cherries as well. Yeah. Oh, I was so excited. I love it. 
Yeah. And I love the fact that you've changed, you, it wasn't the right count, so you just changed it slightly to make it the yeah. right count. It was literally this stitch here. The last stitch should have been over here, if you know what I mean. Yeah. The last stitch was on the first, that last stitch first was chart. on the first chart, which it, which was in the same line as the first row. Did so you I have just to catch many floats on this? Uh, Yes, a few. Yes, that, you yeah, did, you've I done did that really to. neatly as well. I can't see uh, it. You can a little bit through. I love it. You can a little bit because that's that's the only problem, isn't it, with the using the cream or with a. Oh, I just think these more realistic things. Uh, well, not realistic things, but they're not geometric. Yeah. You have more floats, but yeah. it's worth it. It's worth it for the. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Excited. So happy with them. I can't. That I just want to finish now and get and on. I expect you're going to be doing loads more colour work. Yes. Colour work. Yeah. On the leg there. Yeah. All over. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm love world it. chuffed. World chuffed with them. I think she's going to love them. That's amazing. So can't wait to yeah. see those finished. And as I'm well. using uh, drops, Fable and drops Nord for those. Lovely. So the Nord has got a bit of alpaca in as well, yes. hasn't it? And yeah. I like the um, fluff. Halo. Yeah. Love that. So, yay. That's perfect with the stripe. But that's, all, that's it. Once with socks, like with that book. That's the whole just... point, yeah, of putting it in things. And now, okay. and now Shannon's like, I want, a, I want a jumper. Yeah. I'd like a sweater with that going round. Well, the Strange Brew. Oh, they're actually saying that. There are patterns in the book. They're actually. Oh, yeah, there is actually. Yeah. There yeah, is can... a hat pattern. So they've got. Um, she's put the chart in of the yeah. shape, so you just insert your the stitch patterns you want in it. Yeah. And the same with the yoke. There's an actual yoke stripe yeah. in a sweater. I think there's some other things as well. There's a few patterns in there. Yeah. But it's so fun. It just makes you, you just looking through it. It makes you think, oh, oh. Yeah. And as soon as I saw the shoes, I thought, I'm gonna do that for her. That's amazing. Yay! So fun. So fun. Love it. Thanks. What else? So la last, um, last, what have I got? A last whip is the Harlow hat by Andrea Mowry. So I got this when the sale was on, the bir she had her birthday sale. Yeah. And it's a brioche hat. And this is in Drops Fable. The grey, I can't remember the number, but the... Uh, multicoloured one is Fantasyland. Oh, so that's the fable as well. That's dropped fable, yeah. I've got that as well. And oh. I just, I was, you know, I was wanting to do some brioche, like practice it. Yeah. It's so simple. Is it? Yeah, it's so I've simple. I've never done any brioche. In the round, I don't know if it'd be more, well, I do, I think it is slightly more confusing, flat. But the only strange thing is, can you see it's kind of leaning? Yeah. Spiral. It's yeah, not meant to. Is it not? No. So I don't know why. Isn't it when you knit in the round, it goes spiral anyway? So. I'm sure. It's just Well, Whenever you knit in the round, it's. Well, it does that anyway. It's you just, just wouldn't notice it, but because you've got these stripes, yeah, these horizontal probably... stripes. I think so anyway. I don't know, but I'm sure it'll block out if it's yeah. not meant to be like that. And then, so that's the grey on that side. And then that's it on that side but i'm really enjoying the way it's that's really nice but i thought have a play with some drops fable and then if i want to make another one in hand spun i didn't yeah. want to practice it in hand spun but that's the that's yeah, the I've um, got that one i've got so many of these in the but that's such a good idea yeah. you wouldn't think of putting that into that yeah well just, i wouldn't <laughs> well just I, like i said i didn't want to use any hand spun i'd i'd like to do another one yeah we'll see See how it turns out, but I'll probably make it sort of folded up. Yeah. As well. Oh, that would be so nice. So yeah. I think. Well, that's all I've got. Have you got anything else? I've got one more thing Yay. to show, and I went to a boot sale round close to where I live, and there was a lovely lady there selling baskets from hand woven baskets from Ghana. 
and she's at Afrique Boutique on Instagram. So I got her Instagram thing and I got one of these little knitting that baskets hand woven. I've always wanted one of these when you go to the when there's a lady at the shows isn't at there? the yarn show sometimes yeah. not at not, these ones actually no. but we've seen before yeah I'm revel she's at in yeah. February but I saw this lady and it's her business of selling these things and I think she's from Ghana herself um where was that a car boot sale yeah car boot sale so you don't normally get a car boot sales in the UK are like yard sales yeah. but in a field out of the back of the car, the yeah. trunk. Yeah. But yeah. And so I thought oh, handmade. Yeah. I had to. Yeah. I had to just get that. But yeah, and there was another stall there actually selling some handmade sort of um well some watercolour paintings and things. So sometimes at um boot sales you'll get you'll people get the, yeah, the market. The market type yeah right. thing as well. But yeah. So that's that. That's beautiful. Love that. So I think that's everything. <sighs> yeah, well, I think we've just talked continuously for... for well, hours. Yeah, because we recorded, like we said, we recorded the other one first. So if it's been slightly weird and we look a bit spaced out now. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> this hat's actually itching me now. I could just take it off, but... But I was going to say we, we could have just... Um... Could have just forgot all could the words. Could have just forgot all the words. Oh, and... Yeah, I oh, know we haven't done bad considering. We haven't done bad. Actually, we could have just forgot no. all the words. Yeah. Joking aside. Yeah. But so this it's... one's going to go out after anyway, isn't it? So... Yeah. And we'll do it as a. Oh yeah. So just mention it again. What we'll do is we'll put a post on Instagram saying that the hands and feet cow is closed, and we'll record the separate video announcing the winners. Did we mention that on this one or was it the last one? We mentioned that on this one, but I also As mentioned well. it on the other one with letting people right. have time. So that ends on the 30th and yeah, early yeah. October. So Yay. thank you all for joining us. And we'll see you next time. All right, bye. Bye.